This video introduces TS Elements for SolidWorks, a new SolidWorks add-on that lets you more easily edit and modify freeform organic shapes inside SolidWorks. This video will also introduce and talk about why um, and in which use cases you may want to use this add-on. So first of all, let's talk about T-spline shapes and how you can create them today. T-spline shapes can be mainly made in a, in a plugin for Rhino called T-spines for Rhino. And T-spline shapes are noted for their freeform organic shape. This, uh, this joystick was made using T-spines for Rhino. And for help about how to make this joystick and other models, then go to our website, tsplines.com, and you can look at tutorials, you can also look at webinars, a uh, webinar specifically describing how to make this joystick um, is found here in the webinar section of the website. So once you've created your T-spline model, then to bring it into SolidWorks to add the detail to the model, then just select the model and say export selected. And what you want to do is save it as a TSM file. Now, when you have the T-Spines plugin loaded in, into SolidWorks, then let's just check the um, tool add-ins. You can see that the TS Elements for SolidWorks add-in is loaded. Then when you want to open up a new file, you will have, um, as an option, the ability to open up T-Spine files. So the one that we uh, just made TS joystick is here and you'll see that it opens it up as a uh, surface or solid body inside SolidWorks. And with this inside SolidWorks then you can edit the T-spline feature by clicking on the edit feature and then be able to move the T-spline's control points um, faces and edges of the model. Now, um, the other thing that this lets you do, is, since the T-spline comes in as a surface or a solid body, is that you can use standard SOLIDWORKS commands to add um, details to the T-spline. So let's go ahead and open up the file that we started with. You can see here, I've gone ahead and added ribs, bosses, cuts, and fillets to our model. Um, to really finish up this model and make it ready for production. So one use that um, the TS Elements for SolidWorks plugin has is that it lets you um, import that designer data from T-Spines for Rhino and then be able to, um, to edit or, or to go ahead and add the, the mechanical details to the model while still re remain retaining control on the T-spine surface. So say we went ahead and, and got this joystick to this part, crafted prototyped it, and then felt, actually felt it in our hands and discovered that really the, the contours of this model were not quite on. With using TS elements for SolidWorks, I can come in, edit my feature, and then just push and pull on the different parts of the model that need to be changed. So maybe I'll turn on my faces then I can just, just turn off these other display options because I don't need them. And just select whichever faces in the model I need to move, and then just push and pull on them to change the contours. The T-spline surface um, remains curvature continuous throughout nearly the entire model. There's some points that are tangent continuous, but in general the whole surface is curvature continuous. What that means is that the model will stay smooth after you make those tweaks, and then the features should go ahead and update if I haven't tweaked it too far. Um, that ability to rapidly change the overall shape of your model is one of the strengths of T-splines. You can see all of my features were able to be 
rebuilt after those tweaks. Another benefit of T-Splines is that by importing that designer data directly from T-Splines for Rhino, then the designer retains more control over the overall shape of the model. While the engineer doesn't need to waste time trying to get everything curvature continuous and as aesthetically pleasing as what the designers made, the engineer can just focus on um, the engineering parts of the model and then either the engineer can just come in and, and tweak the different parts of the T-spline or he can leave that job to the designer. The designer can just come over to the engineer's computer and make those control point tweaks which is very similar to the interface he's, he's used to in T-splines for Rhino um, so that uh, there's a better overall finished product with both the original design intent and also the um, the engineering um, <clears throat> structures added by SOLIDWORKS.